took a little bullet thing of, and then I left it at home. So <laughs> I'm just going to wing it. But first, I want to say thank you to my friends, to my sister who's representing the family. where she go? She's, right She's the makeup artist, but I did my own makeup tonight. Mom, Good if you're job. watching, I'm wearing lipstick. Um, <laughs> very important. I want to thank uh, Lindsay, who's actually doing my my, my uh, Facebook Live right now, um, and, I'll, and I'll get into why. And the entire um, team at HarperCollins, um, Becca, Tom, and Alyssa, who are here, and then the design team and all the other folks that are not here, who also helped make this happen. And then, of course, I have to thank this one, Andrew. We'll get more into him, too. Um, but I think, in general, the people that worked on this book with me, I have to thank them for their patience with me, because I'm a little high. <laughs> Type A slash anxiety slash account management. Not the best combination all the time, but it can come in handy, which I'll also get into. Um, but I also want to give a shout out to a few special folks. Um, we've got Angie in the back, who has pork chop, the Instagram chat. Uh, we have Hugo up front, who has Princess Cheeto. On the famous Instagram cat. Um, I'm very sad to say, I'm sure you're all sad, that Hannah is not here tonight, but I'm glad that you still came. And if you, if you follow Andrew's Instagram, you know who Hannah is. So if not, be watching. you could, hi Hannah, you can ask her, you can ask her about her later. So basically, um, okay, what was on my notes? So I thanked everyone and my anxiety and all that. Okay, so, <laughs> so one day about three years ago, I got a cold call from an agent and a literary agent. And I was just a blogger, and I don't write, and I never consider myself a writer. And I was like, what is happening? And so, I don't know, she must have been watching too many cat videos. I still don't know how she got to my blog. She claims not to remember. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be famous. I'll be on Ellen, I'll be on Oprah. This is amazing. And then I was like, came to the realization that I had to come up with the book idea. So, that's when I began pitching these, what I thought were amazing ideas. I was like, Having cats over 40, fostering cats over 40, dating in New York with cats, <laughs> having cats in New York and fostering over 40. <laughs> and Lindsay was super sweet. She's like, yeah, no, I don't think so. So, you know, this went on for a while, and then my year was up, and I had no idea for a book, and I was like, this is tragedy. Like, I've blown, like, this amazing opportunity. When does this ever happen? So one day I was in the shower, and I don't believe people who say they have ideas in the shower, because if anyone knows me, I'm like all about in and out, I'm like, I wash the hair, I'm psyched if I get the shampoo, uh, the conditioner out before I leave, and we're excited if both legs are shaking before I'm out of the, the shower. But this one particular day I was in the shower, and this is so true, and I was like, why isn't there a book about shop cats? And then I literally was like dripping wet, and I ran to my laptop, and I was like Googling, and I was like, Okay, like Bodega Cats, a few of them. Like there was a book in the 1970s in black and white. But like I was like, oh, I have a brilliant idea. So I sent Lindsay a note under some other guise of something else. Uh, and she was like, great idea. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm back on the radar. I'll be famous again. And then I was like, I clearly need a photographer. So I happened to be at a party. I guess this was about two years ago. And I met this young hipster guy. Whoever's like, gotta meet him. I have the great win. I am the great wind. And I was like, I don't even have an Instagram account. Like, I'm working on Facebook, you know? <laughs> it's all about Twitter and Facebook and blogging. I'm a little older than Andrew. So, this hipster guy, I'm like, I gotta meet him. He takes cat pictures. And when I saw his pictures, and of course, when I got a sense of his stellar personality, I was like, this is the guy. So, he. You know, very, I'm very grateful that he agreed to work with me on this party. Oh, I forgot to mention the most important thing. The party we were at was Grumpy Cat's second birthday. <laughs> um, because that's where cat people go to meet. <laughs> so we really owe it all to Grumpy Cat. So Grumpy, if you're watching, which I doubt, she really needs to promote the book. So, um, or maybe we're supposed to give her something for that. Okay, never mind. I never mentioned it. So I never mentioned it. So anyway, we started the project. And, um, you know, at the time, my dad was like, has been working on books and whatnot. And he, he's a 20th century British historian. And he's like, wow, you have a book deal. And I was like, yeah, just put some cats in your book and you're good. So I think that's his next concept. It's going to be like 20th century British history with cats. And um, anyway, we started doing research and started doing photography. And Andrew and I, as you'll note, when he starts to speak, have, do have very different personalities. And I think that that actually worked in our favor at the time. Because I was the one who'd be like, you have a shop cat. 
where is it? And can we take its picture? And people are like, we don't have a shop cat. And they're like, that guy has a shop cat. So I'd go next door and they'd be like, no, no, the other guy has a shop cat. So true. I'd like, <laughs> and Andrew's like, <laughs> and so then I'd be like, and now you have to sign this release. Okay, we're good? All right, then Andrew would like swoop in and do his cat whispering thing. <laughs> and needless to say, I, slow, I started off by trying to what I thought was be really discreet. But Andrew reminded me the other day that had it not been for me, we would have had another bookshop cat in the book. There was like a potentially partially blind lame cat at a bookshop who I loved a little too aggressively. <laughs> so he kind of ran away. And had diarrhea for the <laughs> <laughs> You cannot attribute his oh, yes. gastric thing. No. <laughs> so I like started to get looks from him. He really didn't say, but I started to get looks. And I was like, then we came here, and I remember um, I tried to be good, but I think I was in like over 50% of the pictures of Hampton. And so I think that really narrowed down the number of photos we could use in the book. Yeah. And so after that point, I was kind of banned from being, being close to the Just animals. To the yeah, I had like a little area that I could watch from. Um, so with that, I'm going to read you one story, and then I'm going to turn it over to Andrew to talk a little bit about some pictures. Okay, sure. But I think we'll start with Jack who is my local wine store cat, and 